Hi everybody, this is Linda from Remade with Love and in this tutorial you're going to learn how to personalize a ceramic mug. So many of you know that I'm a high school counselor and one of my many hats is to be a crew leader. I love my crew. They bring me such joy and wanting to give back to them, I decided I needed something that recognized and honored each of them as individuals. So I decided to personalize hot chocolate and tea mugs. They're always wanting that during crew. I bought some 10 ounce plain white inexpensive ceramic mugs at Target and Walmart. After cleaning them and wiping them down with a degreaser, I gathered my stencils and spreaders, my ceramic ink, tape, and scissors. Links are in the bio for products used. And to help them get their names on straight, to help me get their names on straight on the mug, I decided I was going to lay down painter's tape. I've done this before and sometimes I get it slightly off and then I have to wipe off the ceramic ink with a wet paper towel and start over. So I try laying down a great uh, piece of painter's tape as my guide. Now you may want to measure from the top or from the bottom until you feel comfortable just kind of eyeballing where you're going to put your painter's tape and that's okay. Notice I have to finesse this a few times before I'm happy with it. But once you've got your tape set, go ahead and peel and stick the letters for each student's name on a mug. This peel and, and stick set I got um, is not a mesh sten stencil set. Uh, I got it at Walmart or Michaels. I'll have that, I'll look that up and put it in the bio. And, um, but I really liked it. It came across um, pretty smooth. It was easy to use. And once I got them in a bath of water, uh, most of the color from the ink came off. And they'll, I'll be able to re-stick and use them again. Decide on your ink. I'm using ceramic gel art ink. And then using a paint spreader, and you could use an old credit card if you want, I'm going to squeeze a dollop of ceramic ink onto my spreader, just like a little dollop of toothpaste on a toothbrush. I'm going to use the same technique here. Even though these aren't mesh stencils, I'm going to use the same 45 degree angle and try and press, press the paint down and into the stencil and drag it across. And except for getting a little bit of ink outside the um, stencils, these were kind of small stencils for the name, uh, I think I did a pretty good job going to carefully lift the stencils up and off the mug. Be sure to always lift away from the mug. You don't want to drag through that wet paint. And if you've gotten a little bit out of the lines, a little bit of extra paint where you didn't intend it, go ahead and use your fingernail or a damp paper towel. You can see all I do is scrape it off with my nail and wipe it on my apron and keep going till it's done. Until this ink is set, it is wet and that's a good thing because you can wipe away your mistakes. You also have to be super careful that if you're going to use more stencils like I am, uh, that you don't touch this wet ink on that side. Then with a complementary color on the opposite side, I'm going to carefully lay down a mesh stencil that has a saying or a quote on it. And then we're going to repeat the process. Oh, don't um, just drop your stencils. If you're using uh, ink, you want to make sure you get those stencils into a, a bath of water off to the side. doesn't have to have any um, detergent or anything in it, just a, a slightly warm bath of water and let that soak until you're ready to wash the stencils off at the end. So I chose my happiness stencil here and being careful not to touch Xavier's name, I'm going to go ahead and push that on, make sure it's nice and tight to the mug and exactly where I want those words. And once I press it down, none of the paint will get through that stencil and onto the back. Now I could follow up and put painter's tape around the sides like I did the other one, 
The other one was more for a guide, but uh, if your stencil is small, you may want to add that painter's tape just in case you spread a little of the uh, ceramic ink on the outside. Continue using other design stencils or other inks until your mug is ready to set. Once I had completed all my mugs for all of my crew members, I'm going to go ahead and bake my mugs on a cookie sheet. I start off in a cold oven and I set the temperature to 325 degrees. And once it heats up to 325, I'll let it cook for about 35 minutes and turn off the oven, letting everything cool within the oven to room temperature before removing. Needless to say, my kids loved their personalized mugs. Thanks for watching Remade with Love. For more tutorials, follow me on Facebook and YouTube.